Now for the last part of this question, we're told that if g dash of x equals 1, we've got to find the exact value of x. Well, in the previous part of the question, we worked out that g dash of x was e of x all over e of x minus 2 all squared. So that's going to equal 1. And to solve this now, what we need to do is remove the denominator from here. So we would times both sides of the equation by e to the x minus 2 all squared. And if we do that, we're therefore going to have on this side just e to the x. And on the other side, 1 times the denominator there is just going to give e to the x minus 2 all squared. I now need to expand this bracket. So we'd have e to the x equals e to the x minus 2 multiplied by another e to the x minus 2. And expanding that gives e to the x times e to the x, which you can either write as e to the 2x if you add the powers, or you could even write this as e to the x all squared. I'm going to write it as e to the x all squared. You'll see why in a moment. Then we've got e to the x times minus 2, so that's minus 2 e to the x. And then we've got another minus 2 times e to the x. And then finally, minus 2 times minus 2 plus 4. You should really, though, be able to square a bracket out, by the way, without writing this out. But uh, I just did that just to uh, illustrate what was going on. So we've got e to the x then equals e to the x all squared, or as I say, you could keep that as 2x. We've got minus 4 e to the x here, and then plus 4. What I want to do now, though, is subtract e to the x from both sides, and that's going to give me 0 equals e to the x all squared minus 4 e to the x minus another e to the x is minus 5 e to the x and then plus 4. Now what I've got here is a quadratic, a quadratic equation in e to the x. And that's why I saw that coming and I left it as e to the x all squared. As I say, you could have had e to the 2x, but you need to recognize that and change that to e to the x all squared. OK, so like all quadratics then, to solve it, what you could do is try and see if you can factorize it, or you could use the quadratic formula. This one will factorize. We've got two brackets. We've got an e to the x and an e to the x at the start. Two numbers that multiply together to give the 4. Well, that's going to be, in this case, minus 4 and minus 1. And you'll see that you get minus e x and minus 4 e to the x, which gives minus 5 e to the x. So we've got that factorized. And now all we need to do is say that each of these factors would equal 0. So therefore, e to the x minus 4 would equal 0. Or the other factor, e to the x minus 1, would equal 0. And that would lead to e to the x equaling 4, or in this case, e to the x, whoops, e to the x equaling 1. Now, as for e to the x equaling 4, that's not such an obvious answer, but what I can do is take natural logs to both sides, and so I get x equals natural log of 4. With this one, this is an obvious answer. x has to be 0. Anything to the power 0 is 1. If you didn't see that, all you've got to do is just take natural logs again, and you could just say x equals the natural log of 1. But if you did that on a calculator, you would get 0. OK, well, there's our exact answers. x equals the natural log of 4, or x equals 0. Well, that brings us now to the end of this question.